We are on a road trip today. We're heading to Chattanooga and then on to our cabin in the Smoky Mountains. We've just pulled in along the way to grab a coffee. Rachel found this cute little place for us to stop in at. So the place is called Big L Coffee. We've pulled in off the I-75, which is gonna take us all the way up to Chattanooga. And um, I've gone for a nice big filter coffee, an apple turnover. A cinnamon roll we're just going to share the two of these and uh, rachel's got a filled coffee as well i'm so excited for coffee <laughs> i didn't have a coffee yesterday at all and i'm just uh i've been craving one so very happy with this wait do you want to wear my tongue so <laughs> i've just given it a try and it's delicious i wish in london we had more just like filter or pour over coffee like so many coffee shops most coffee shops don't do it at all. It's, it's all espresso drinks. And I realized something over um, the last couple of years, and that is that I much prefer filter coffee to espresso coffee. It's just so much nicer. Like I do love having a Starbucks like in a flavored drink and stuff, but when I want a coffee hit in the morning, I just want pure filter coffee. I just find like espresso coffee so much more bitter. We've made it to Chattanooga. We're just outside the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Uh, we're gonna make our way over to Main Street in Chattanooga and uh, go get some breakfast. Rachel has scoped out some good breakfast spots for us, but we will come back and check out this beautiful building on the way back. We've come to Bluegrass Grill, which is the place that Rachel found. It's super busy. We had to wait only about like 10 minutes for a table though. I think we came just at the right time. So there's a big queue behind us. They have a huge menu and all the food that is coming out of the kitchen looks amazing. Um, but I think I'm going to focus on what they have as the specials here. And uh, I'm probably going to go for this Southwest pork hash. You can see they've got quite a few different specials. Creme brulee, baked French toast. I just think I fancy something more savory than sweet because we did have the sweet with our coffee this morning. <laughs> We just got some drinks as well. I went for a Coke Zero, Rachel got a Dr. Pepper. We were just saying like the cans of drink were $1.25, which is so cheap to have a drink in a restaurant. Our food just came out. This is the hash, the special, the pork hash, and then I've got a biscuit on the side. And our lovely waitress uh, recommended that I try the honey with some butter on the biscuit. Hi, so we have eggs benedict. There's spinach, but that's a bit weird, it's okay and a biscuit with cheesy grits. I don't know what grits are, but about to find out. How can I say hard? It kind of looks like hard. It's a bit weird. We're just outside Chattanooga Choo Choo now. As of right now, it is a hotel. Although you can see from the sign out the front, it actually says it's more than a hotel. Historically, it was a train station. And I think it dates back to like the early 1900s. Yes, yeah, so I just checked. It was 1909 that the terminal station opened and it was the first railway station in the site. And this hotel itself now is actually registered um, on the National Register of Historic Places. So it is literally a historic place. Uh, so we're gonna have a little look out inside and see what it's like. It looks pretty cool though. I mean, this whole area is so, so nice. Like it just, it's so nice just walking around. Obviously we've only just popped around the corner, gone for breakfast so far, but already we're really impressed and really enjoying just walking around. And it's just very relaxed, very chilled. Um, the breakfast that we just had as well, like the service was amazing. I've always heard such good things about like hospitality around here, but yeah, it was really, really good. And we're really enjoying our morning so far. They have a little plaque over here. Oh, that's what I was just saying. So yeah, this property has been placed on the National Register of History historic places by the United States Department of the Interior. I've never heard of that before. You can see it is actually a hotel, so uh, let's head on inside. They've got a popular place over here, Frothy Monkey. It looks like it's pretty full. Uh, I don't think I could eat another bite or drink another sip. I'm actually like so full right now. But look at this place, it's so impressive. I'm pretty sure they do some cool stuff for Christmas. I was checking online and I think there was gonna be like ice skating and like some cool decorations and stuff, but unfortunately they haven't put that up just yet. Over this side, they have one of the like really old telephone booths, which is pretty cool. What do you call that again? When you have to like twist for the numbers, 
There's a name for those kinds of phones. I can't remember. We just come out the back now. Oh, they actually have a train. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, amazing. And they have a distillery here, Gate 11 Distillery. So out the back then they have one of the Chattanooga Choo Choo trains. Looks like you can actually just go up and have a look into the driver's cabin. Let's do that. This is so cool. Okay, let's go back down. There's another carriage then beside it here. So, oh, Cincinnati Southern. <laughs> it just took me a minute there. Still got a lot of brain fog after all the traveling. American draft. Oh, so you can actually go in there and have a beer, no way. Not that I want a beer right now, but like, I think you can, yeah, it looks like it's little tables and stuff. The deck is for use of America Draft customers only. It doesn't look like it's open just yet, which makes sense because it is still quite early. How cool is this? Oh, I think I've seen people come out like onto this deck. This looks familiar. Sorry, we're closed, that's fine. It's a bit early for a beer anyway. That is cool. So you're basically like in one of the train carriages. We've come to Warehouse Row, which seems to be kind of like a very trendy indoor shopping mall kind of thing. Uh, but it says that it has like some local retailers and stuff. So it also has a Lululemon and J. Crew. So yeah, maybe it's like a mix of local places and more established brands. But it looks really cool. This place here is very busy, Tapello Honey. We've gone by so many cool looking food places, like coffee places. This definitely seems like a really good place to be for food, which of course means that me and Rachel are very happy. <laughs> we were just saying, we actually would have really liked to have stayed here for a night. And um, we're literally just passing through. It's just a nice stop off on the way up to our cabin. So we have another two hours drive before we get to the cabin. This place is pretty cool. They have lots of really cool little hangout spots where you can just sit and chill. And I love the like warehouse design. I think it's got four or five floors as well. We're taking a leisurely slow now. What? <laughs> leisurely slow. <laughs> leisurely slow. Literally words. We're taking a leisurely stroll now back towards the Chattanooga Choo Choo, which is where we're parked. And then we're gonna get in the car and drive on up. We really want to stay here. It's so nice. There's so much to look at and see. And we wanted to go down to the river, but we're both flagging. And um, I'm just a bit worried about the drive and everything. So. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to let myself hit a wall and then have to get in the car and drive for two hours. So we're going to head now. We're also kind of running behind time on where we thought we would be today because we had uh, quite a long process getting our car this morning. <laughs> like we were in the line at Avis and um, they were basically telling the people in the line if they booked their car in the last 24 hours they weren't getting a car <laughs> and so you can imagine the scenes that were had at the airport I am outside our lovely cabin